hello, my FLPs and strangers who found this on the internet. So it's time to download Boardmaker 7. Hopefully it's awesome. Um, so we got an email today that we need to download Boardmaker 7 editor by October 19th. So I'm gonna walk through the process in case you need help. So we have Max, we are going to click on Boardmaker Editor 7 Mac. It's gonna ask you to save it to your desktop. Save. And it will pop up this to start downloading. This part takes, took me about 10 minutes for it to finish downloading. So you have to wait for that whole little bar to load. Once it does, then it will look like this. Once you have that on your screen, double click it. So now it shows you that it wants you to put Boardmaker 7 Editor into your applications. So you can click on here, double click, it will open your applications. Then you can put editor, you can drag it just within this box. And now you can see in your applications that it is loading it there. Okay, so that part took about a minute. Now I have a board maker seven editor in my applications. I'm going to double click to open it. And now it is popping up in my dock. So if this is something you're going to use a lot, you can lock it into your dock. So click with two fingers and go to options and select keep in dock. So once that check is next to keep in dock, it'll stay there even when I quit the program. So I won't have to go into applications to find it if I'm gonna use this all the time. Are you sure you wanna open? You downloaded this from the internet. Yep, click open. And here is Boardmaker 7 editor. Let's really, really hope that it's cool. Once it loads, okay, that part took about another minute. Then um, it says download and sign in successful, because mm, I did this step a minute ago. When you first open, it's going to have a sign in. You click the sign in and it is going to take you to the web browser to the Boardmaker Toby single sign-in. So you will log in through the web browser with your um, Boardmaker online login. Once you sign in, it'll say close the browser, you can go back to editor. Now we've signed into editor, it is downloaded. And then it says, editor's not ready yet, but you've downloaded it until this is actually up and running, which should be by October 19th. Uh, you're going to keep using Boardmaker online, but you will be ready to use Editor as soon as it is running, and you'll make sure that you don't lose anything in the transition. So, good luck, and I hope that helps.